Welcome to organic. Damn it. <laughs> what is it? Uh, all right, ready? Welcome to the in season organic meal prep for about five to seven days uh, for my wife and I. Mostly under 40 bucks. Try to keep it simple, fresh, and uh, they call me the Frank Sinatra of the kitchen. Always start with the sharp knife, never dull. You actually cut yourself more often with the dull knife than the sharp knife. Uh, an easy way to sharpen a knife, everyday home, uh, regular coffee cup, flip it over, this ring right here is actually a, a soft sharpener. Uh, you won't have to go professional sharpening or anything like that. So you just flip up the cup over, get your knife, hold it at about a, I would say like a 25 degree angle. And uh, you swipe once, twice, three, four, five, six. Uh, next step, I like to uh, open the chicken breast in half, uh, season it, put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes while I cook the rice. So let's start with the chicken. Cut them open in half, press them down a little bit. I like to cut uh, from the side where it's the whole chicken breast. It's nice and firm here. If you cut from the other side, you'll see that it's like uh, rib meat, uh, some fat. It's not even. If you, if you cut from this side, it's all even. A lot easier, especially with the sharp knife. We're gonna use some lemon pepper, some garlic salt, and uh, use the tongs to stop cross-contamination. So here we go. That. With rice I want about three cups. So I do a cup and a half of rice with three cups of water. Let's get the water. Turn it on, start boiling. You can see the water is uh, boiling now. Add the rice in. You don't need to wash this brown rice. Uh, this is actually organic and already pre washed, so you just dump it in there. Make sure it's even. Yeah. Okay, so you put the, all the rice in. Make sure you put it all in there. Drop it in there, let it come to a boil for about a minute or two, uh, and then we'll put it down to simmer for about 40 minutes. So, this is from Sam's Club. This is their broccoli uh, Normandy. Delicious, $5.50 for four packets. And this is more than enough, plus all of these veggies. This is more than enough for us. And the freezer. You can just throw them in there until next week. I try to get as many veggies as I can and make it colorful. My wife won't need it if it looks dull, if it looks plain. She ain't about that basic life. So I don't peel the little red potatoes. The skin is actually really good. 
Uh, the, they have all the nutrients. I don't peel anything. Uh, I keep all the nutrients in there. The skin is actually really good, really healthy. I said before, I like to keep the skin on. Uh, I think it makes the dish taste better, honestly. And it's in, you know. Everywhere you go, people are keeping the uh, the skin on sweet potatoes, on potatoes, um, and they actually make the make it stand out more, more contrast to it. And right now we're making some sweet potato fries. They have a little space in them because then they are going to start using all the veggies and the ground turkey. Ugh. So just line everything up, season everything at once. the other. Then you do that, you hit it with the pepper. You don't want too much pepper in the sweet potato. And the veggies. Mix it up a bit. And then we're gonna top it off with some olive oil so they don't stick and the oil actually helps keep the heat inside of the vegetable or the meat. So we're gonna do that with the chicken too. So we're just gonna put this up a little bit. This again. Salt. So, now, we're going to lay our chicken on top, too much, you do that, and you put the 
chicken up in there. Just lay it on top. And all five pieces should fit. Look at that. So you got that done, you got all that done, pop it in the oven, and that should be all right. All right, the oven is prepped, chicken goes in, I like putting the chicken at the bottom, and then sweet potatoes right up top, and you set the timer for about... Set the timer for an hour and you check it out there. Just hit start. Uh, the brown rice is almost done, probably needs another 15 minutes. And then uh, right now we're going to start on the ground turkey. It needs to be done, there's no more water in the pots. Uh, but just leave it, leave it covered and it'll be, it'll drain out the water that it still has sitting in there, so just leave it there uh, until everything is done. And our veggies are cooking, they're boiling. Maybe uh, another four minutes, we'll take them out. We'll take them out, set them on the side, and start our, making our ground turkey. So we're gonna put some seasoning on our ground turkey. But uh, I'm just gonna flip it over, season it some more. The veggies are done. It's been about five minutes. We fast forward it for you. We're gonna take them out, put them in this, uh, in this big uh, measuring cup. And there was a casualty. Stir it out from the pot. Just add some olive oil. Add your ground turkey. Well, I type the onions first, it's not a lot. Just want to have left over. Just caramelize it a little bit. Add our ground turkey. Those onions are going to cook no matter what. Okay, okay so the turkey's done. It uh, needs about maybe four minutes or so, so we're going to add the, uh, the veggies. We're going to add the veggies. They're fully cooked already. So we're just stirring this, giving it some color, leaving it in there for about two or three minutes, let the rest of the, of the water in there the boil out a little bit. And next is the chicken should be done in about, it says five minutes, but it probably needs a little longer. I'm going to pull out the sweet potatoes, see what, how they look. Make sure they're intact. Been in there for a while. So get the sweet potato out. Good. Oh yeah. So let me lay this down here, show you guys real quick. That's the sweet potato. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Nothing better. Some fresh sweet potato, oven baked, some salt, some pepper, some virgin olive oil. Oh my god. Mm. Try that. Shit's hot. Wow, that's pretty good. You get that? Pull off a little bit. Wow, that's really good. It's good, huh? Uh, turkey's almost done, maybe two minutes. Turn it off. Let it steam off a little bit. Now, the chicken is probably gonna need more time. It still looks a little raw. I can tell from here. But we're more than happy. This took about an hour, uh, prepping all the, all the veggies, all the meats, seasoning, putting it away for a little bit, rice, uh, turkey, keeping it all together, trying to make everything come out at the same time. And so the turkey needs a couple more minutes. Rice is done. This is perfect. Chicken needs probably another 15 minutes. It looks a little raw. I'm gonna flip it right now, I'll show you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna flip it and then we'll get back to it, okay? And it still looks a little raw. So I'm gonna flip it. Get the other sides going, put it in there for about another 15 minutes, but you guys should smell this, it smells delicious. All the veggies combining together. Oh damn. All the veggies, veggies all the veggies combining together, all the greens, the carrots, the tomatoes, the potatoes. Everything's gonna be nice and soft by the time this will come out. So we'll give it another, I would say another 15 minutes. <clears throat> As you can tell, it still looks a little pink. So put that back in for another 15 minutes at 375 and we'll go from there. Oh yeah, look at that. No pink whatsoever. Perfect. And so we're gonna open these up a little more. Dry out a little bit. All right, so that looks good. Now we're gonna leave that on top of the stove real quick. Let it cool off. We're gonna start serving the brown rice. Serving the brown rice onto the Tupperware we have. We don't have a lot, but this is what we use for the rice and the chicken. And then we'll use these for the ground turkey with the sweet potatoes. So let's start serving the brown rice. all look the same. They almost all look the same. So same thing with the chicken. We just eyeball. See uh, see where it's at. So like I cut them in half earlier, right? Oh yeah. Let's 
that's it. So move this out real quick. And keep it together. And just start slicing. Let the knife do the work. Once the knife starts rolling, you don't have to do as much work. You just lay it on top. All right, guys. So this is our typical lunchbox that we use, and when we take it to go, it's already packed and everything. It already has the lids on. You just get it from the fridge and just put it in the lunchbox. So this is what I usually carry. Uh, two fruits, whatever, whatever, it can be oranges. This week we have mandarins and uh, mangoes. Last week we had oranges and guayabas. Uh, I'm not sure what those are called in English. Guavas? I have no idea. But we have that. And then sometimes we have a little snacks like uh, blueberries. We keep those in handy, put them in a little container. And so basically it just looks like this. We put that there, put that there, zip it up, maybe a little container for the blueberries. Okay, I gotta cut that for now. <laughs> just keep it rolling, right? All right, so the blueberries, we just put them in a little container. That'll be a little snack. Throw that in there. And that goes straight with our lunch. And that's what we have all day. And the next video we'll show you guys is how what we eat in the morning. And don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, click the box, and we'll see you guys next week on Monday. <laughs>